In this video, I will go over programming the Sierra 440 repeater into a mobile radio. This particular radio is an Anytone 5883, uh, which is a tri band um, 2 meter, 220, and 440 radio. But it should be generally similar to other radios of other brands as well. As you can see, a radio like this has what's called two VFOs. You have a right and a left. Each can have their own frequency. You will need to select the uh, one that you're trying to work on. So to do that, you simply push the button for um, to make the 440 VFO the main one. And to change the frequency, you generally have a couple different options. You can scroll down to the uh, correct frequency. Or you could actually type it in with the uh, microphone right here. In this case, it would be 444.375. Next, you need to select a couple other options. I'm going to go to the menu and I'm going to start with Transmit repeater mode. This particular radio actually is um, knows where some of the portions of the bands are repeater frequencies and some are not. So it will actually automatically put this into repeater mode for this frequency. So we're going to go ahead and skip. If it wasn't, it'd be like this. Let's switch over to the other side here. There, and there's a repeater off, and you just switch it to negative or positive. Let's go back over here. Next setting is shift, and this is where you will actually select the shift. Uh, some radios will have this set by default to 5 megahertz for UHF. So then you might actually have to change it. But I'm not going to change it because that's correct.
on this radio to put a, an encode tone in. It says the menu option is TX CDCS. Really weird. You never would know without looking at it. So you select that, change it from off to CTCSS. And that's where you change your PL tone. And it's already pre it's already set to 114.8. And that's the one you want for this radio. Hit select. Select again to exit and exit. So now this radio is set up to talk on the Sierra 440 repeater. KD9MXV. There are other settings you could set. For example, I could set a receive tone. We didn't, well, we don't need to do that, we could. We could change all sorts of other settings, but we're just doing the ones that we need to set. So that's it. That is programming a mobile transceiver to work on the Sarah UHF repeater.